So I just wanted to show you guys something <laughs> I, I actually think is kind of cool. Uh, extremely challenging here on the school bus that I've had to do is I've had to make a seating chart on my bus, which is a good idea. It's great for safety so that we know where the kids are at uh, in the event of an emergency. Um, of course, it also gives me control to move trouble making kids around as needed. What I did, and I'm going to have to do some work on this video for sure to blur some names here, but I want to show you guys what I did, just as an example, um, on this one here. So never mind the blurry kids' names, but you see I actually have six card holders. Now, legally, I can only carry three kids um, per seat at a time. My bus has so many kids, I actually pick up more than 80 kids, which is my legal capacity. So let's see my legal capacity oh that's oh yeah there is capacity 77 okay so i actually carry more kids total than i can legally do what i have to do is i have to pick up a bunch of kids i pick up about 30 kids at our primary school and then i pick up about 30 more at our intermediate school and then i go and drop off about 20 kids then i go to the middle school pick up about another 20 kids drop off about another 25 kids then I go to the high school and pick up like two or three so I have this rotation and so what I actually have to do is look at where the kids where they're picked up and when they get off in regards to each other to balance it all out and it really is truly challenging because of course I'm also trying to balance you know I can't I try to keep the boys and girls apart just yeah I think that goes without saying as to why um, but so for example on this bus here these three kids all get on at my first two pickups at the primary and intermediate and then i drop all of them off before i get to the middle school so then when i get to the middle school these kids get on um which actually what i'm trying to do is keep this front right seat it's kind of my timeout seat um so i get these three kids on here they're on the bus for um actually no that doesn't work because this kid this kid stays on <laughs> after the middle school, uh, but he gets off quickly after. He sits up front all the time because he's naughty, so he's always in this timeout seat. Um, but here's a better example. So back one seat, <laughs> back one seat. These three kids all get on with my first two, um, first two pickups, and then they get off at my first stop. So by the time I get to the middle school, this seat's wide open, and several of my front seats are like that. So when the middle schoolers get on, boom, here's your seat, right? Makes it really easy. Um, so yeah i just want to explain that to you guys as far as how i have to do it so i had I actually we just started the seating chart a couple of days ago and i had several kids today <clears throat> ask me they said well this doesn't make sense there's six kids in my seat and a little boy holler he said there's six kids in my seat and i said how many kids are in your seat right now well there was two and he kind of looked at me and said five i guess <laughs> no there's two physically there's two so i explained to him how it worked oh wow yeah that makes sense now the other challenge i have is this only works in the afternoons because my route is actually different in the mornings and because of the time restriction we can't drop off at the schools before 7 15. so in the mornings i run the route in a different order and i pick up a bunch of different kids i've got a lot of kids that ride in the morning but not in the afternoon and vice versa so at this point right now in the mornings, I just say, hey, y'all get on, get sat down. In the mornings, they're usually sleepy anyway. The kids don't really give me a whole lot of problems in the morning. Um, and I just tell them, you know, hurry up, pack on, find a seat. And then just, just, I have to drop off all the middle school kids. And then I go back and pick up like two more streets. There's another 10 kids get on, but I don't have enough seats to pick them all up at once. Um, so yeah, that's a whole different challenge of its own, but I'm not even trying to do a morning seating chart right now. It's just too much headache in, in order for me to do it on my bus i would have to have dual colored name tags I have two different colored name tags for every single kid and have to color code it or something um but right now i'm just trying to get the afternoon seating chart figured out and then 
once that's all pinned down and the kids are used to it, which they're getting used to it quick, they're whining and complaining, but they're getting used to it and they realize all the seats are the same. Um, but once I get the afternoon pinned down, maybe I'll get real creative and go for uh, for a morning seating chart, but it's really not my primary focus right now. So anyway, I just want to share that idea with you guys. Hopefully it makes sense. I think I'm the only boss in the district that has to do that loop-de-loop -loop of picking kids up and dropping them off and picking them up and dropping them off. And that's because I run the town route. So it's the only route that it makes sense to do that on. Um, all the rural routes, of course, they pick up all their kids and then they drive you know, 10 miles out of town or whatever and start dropping them off. So yeah, just thought I'd share it. Any, guys, any other guys out there that are driving buses that got a ton of kids and are trying to figure out a seating chart idea, this works pretty good. These little um, these little holders that I'm using, they're baseball card organizers out of a three ring binder. I didn't think I would like them at first, but they're working out. You can buy um, self-adhesive um, like note card holders to do the same thing, they just stick up there. I just use what the school had on hand, so it's there's three per. I took up there's actually nine per page. I cut them with a paper shear, paper cutter, whatever it's called, and then I just use box tape or packing tape to, to glue them up there. So not really ideal, but it's actually holding really well so far. And like I said, it gives me a little pocket so I can grab any given name tag, pull it out, move the kids around. So this particular kid, blurry name. That kid, he's up here for a couple of days if he proves himself to me, which he normally does. I put him in timeout for a while, he figures it out. Um, and then I'll move him further back. And then just as soon as he messes up again, because he always does, he'll come right back up front. But it gives me that latitude. The kids have been asking every day, hey, can you move so-and-so closer to me or get this kid away from me? And it's good. You know, it's really, it's good because it's flushing out problems. I'm figuring out who's friends. I'm figuring out who I can trust. Another interesting thing I'm doing that a lot of buses won't do, a lot of bus drivers want to put all their little kids up front. And I totally agree with that. I want to have all my primary kids up front too. But I have some primary kids that I know don't cause problems. They never have. They're just quiet, nice little kids. I seat them in the back with a well-behaved middle school or high school kid uh, to you know maintain that that good example, that good mentorship. And I know I don't have to worry about them. Um, so I set them back there. It makes the whole thing easier because that's the other thing. I've got kids that I pick up primary and immediate. I pick up the beginning of my route, and they're on to the very end. So I have to keep that in mind too when I'm making this rotational seating chart. I have to keep in mind not just who I picked up um, first, but when they get off first as well. It's not as easy as just throwing all the little kids in the front most seats and trying to dump them off as quick as I can. Well, I say it's not that it is that easy if I wanted to. I could just put all the primaries up front and the intermediates right behind them, so on and so forth. Um, but I get to a problem when I get all the middle schoolers and high schoolers want to sit in the back because that's where their assigned seat is there's not enough seats for that so I have to spread and balance it all out I hope that makes sense so anyway like I said I just want to share it it took me a lot of thought process as an engineer it was actually challenging so I enjoyed it um, so I just thought I'd share it with you guys too maybe it'll help some of y'all out and get your uh, get your kids under control <laughs>